Hey everyone, this is Paper Life, and in today's Transformers video review, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Autobot Firefly. So he is another member of the um, uh, Aerial Bots who form Superion. So the packaging itself, you get to see um, a nice artwork of Firefly up at the top. This image again is still pretty low quality from what we've seen um, as far as box art goes. Um, we do get to see uh, Firefly in robot mode here, nice white, and his alt mode here where he's a stark contrast with this red color. You get to see his weapons as well as his um, combiner foot slash fist accessory. You can also see that he comes with a bio card here and then along the side we get to see a nice image of Superion in his combined form the figure itself and some artwork of Superion as well and you see that Firefly makes up number five of five for Superion going along to the back you see very much the same as we've seen with the rest of this this wave you get to see some robot and alt mode images you can see at the top right here that you have um, Superion kind of blue printed out and you see that Firefly is highlighted as his left leg at this point. And you see the rest of the wave here. You see Drag Trip, Skydive, Silverbolt, Alpha Bravo, and of course Firefly himself. You also see that the figures, it's, oh, this figure itself transforms in nine steps, which is uh, pretty simple, which is good because I know that they've been trying to simplify the line for children more and more over the, over the past few years but still keep it fun for collectors. All right, well, I think that's it for our packaging review. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and get on with a review. All right, so out of packaging, here we have Firefly. So um, he does come with the standard things that we've been getting with this line. We have his um, character card. And we also have a set of instructions, which um, from my previous reviews, you could probably know that this is a massively long set of instructions since it has so many, it has four sets of instructions to go through. I'm not even going to get into those. Um, they're decent enough for what you're going to do. So let's go ahead and get into robot, remote, robot review for Firefly. Um, you know, just one thing I wanted to touch on is obviously Firefly is the name of the character they're going with for the Confiner Wars. He typically was known as Fireflight, so I'm not really sure why they did it. Probably just for the naming conventions and uh, copyrights to the name. But uh, I'm going to call him Firefly just because that's what he's officially known as. But if you guys want to call him Fireflight, uh, by all means. So anyway, he does come with some accessories. He comes with two weapons. So he comes with his combiner foot slash gun slash hand. Uh, I've already shown this off. The one thing I'll note real quick is that it's kind of weird that both he and Alpha Bravo have black um, feet, but they have this one joint here that's gray while Skydive has all black. Uh, I don't know which I prefer. I thought I preferred all black just to be consistent, but I guess kind of breaking it up is kind of nice too. But yeah, he has uh, double barrels, I guess, blasters, I don't know. Um, Skydive had, I think, like kind of missiles. And I know Alpha Bravo has kind of Gatling guns. Get that out of the way. Um, the other weapon he has is kind of this uh, shotgun, maybe flamethrower. It has these ports that look like for a flamethrower or maybe for a silencer. Not really sure. It's probably, oh, it probably is. A flamethrower, given his name is Firefly, <laughs> but uh, either of the weapons can go into either of his hands and make use of the 5mm ports. So let's go into robot mode review. Let's look at first his head sculpt, because I always like to kind of do that first. Well, actually, let's do a 360 first. So taking a look at Firefly, I like the white and red. And just the look of the character is kind of cool. He does have this weird tail fin here on just one side, which is a little bit different. Uh, one of the things I will say is also that for mine at least, the canopy section, the front section, is very clearly split. 
and I can't get it to squeeze close uh, there. Minor nitpick. Yep, I need back to the front. Let's go ahead and zoom into his head sculpt. So I wanted to talk about his head sculpt just um, because of the fact it's a lot different than I remember it being in the cartoon and it definitely is. I, I looked it up uh, before I did the review because I was like this does not remind me of him at all. And it's actually based on the um, G1 toy which I, I did have but I do not remember the toys nearly as fondly as I remember the cartoons. And I haven't seen a G1 Superion in quite a while while I rewatched the series quite a bit over the last few years. Uh, but it does look really good. Uh, I, being a, you know, me being a, um, a cartoon fan more than a toy fan, I would have liked uh, a different head to match the, the cartoon. But this is fine as well. It is on the ball joint. He gets a lot of up motion. Not a lot of down. And he goes around and he has a head bobble. Alright. Let's zoom back out. And get on with the rest of the review. Let's zoom out a little bit more than that. Alright. So, <clears throat> the character itself, um, after looking at pictures, takes a lot of... Um, you know, the design and colors and even paint apps in both this mode and in the um, alt mode from the G1 toy. So I really like that. So let's go ahead and actually get to transforming him. I don't think I have... Oh, oh I'm sorry. I didn't do articulation. So he does have ball jointed shoulders. Going around. He does have a, a, a uh, elbow swivel. He does have elbows. They go 90 degrees, not only forward, but backwards as well, which is just kind of odd because there's no real need for it to go backwards. Um, the other characters, um, you know, like Skydive, they have stops and they're molded so they can't go backwards. So I'm just curious why they didn't do that with him. In any case, he also has a waist swivel down here around the gray piece. It feels like it, it has some interference. But it looks like what it's designed to do is it has this little nub underneath the crotch here in the red section and there's a little um, indentation so I guess it's just a stopper to give you a stopping point for when it's straight on. So it's kind of a nice, nice indicator. He has ball jointed hips so you can go good range of motion. Thigh swivel. It does have th hollow thighs here. Nice knee bend. And the leg sections are one piece so he doesn't have any foot articulation. So a really good representation. Uh, like I showed with Skydive, you can flip out these wings if you want and give them kind of a more of a, almost like a seeker silhouette, except downwards. So you have some options there. But that's it for robot mode review. I, I'm gonna explain how I'm gonna do transformation like I did with Skydive. I'm gonna go from, um, so, in, in this iteration, um, he's designed to be a foot, I believe. Let me see which foot he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be the left foot, um, even though he was supposed to be the right arm, I believe, in, in the original series. I'm, I'm going to have to check. But So, just to be consistent with this iteration, I'm going to finish off in the um, left leg uh, mode, just to be consistent. Alright, so let's go ahead and go from robot to alt, alt to um, arm, and then arm to leg. Alright, so and then we're going to go all the way back because, I, again, I always like to show kind of both ways. So let's go ahead and um, transform into plane mode, alt mode. First thing we'll do is turn the head around. And as with skydive, what you need to do is kind of unpeg the canopy, not uh, the cockpit and extend it straight and fold it all the way down and these little nubs here will kind of hold it in place here. Alright. Same thing as with skydive, you open the legs and you have these mechanisms that you're going to need to rotate all the way down. 
keep it, keeping these parts straight. You need that tab to st stay up. Don't like fold it or anything like that. Close that up. And instead of having uh, the the tabs uh, t slots here, as with skydive, they actually have the tabs here, so it's kind of reversed. That's kind of cool. You can tab in both halves of the legs, and then you're going to fold them in, making sure that these tabs go into these slots here. So tab and slot. Okay, and there's these little tabs up in between here as well that tab to the front part of the the jet. All right. What you're going to do here, just tab in on the front. So the front also has tabs here that go into these little slots. Um, speaking of tabs and slots, you have this tab here and this slot on the inside of each arm. Uh, what you need to do is rotate down on these shoulder pieces. And just get this close to the body. And then you just tab those in. And it gets it pretty slim this way, so I like that. Fold down the wings, uh, as well as the tail piece, and then fold this entire tail piece down. And uh, this mine, mine's really loose, but they do have landing gear that it does a lot of times flop down by itself. More often than it should, and it's kind of annoying. But yeah, very easy transformation into um, alt mode. And as you can see, mine, my landing gear, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with it, but it doesn't seem to, oh, oh, okay, there you go. You have to fold it down like that, and that way it actually stays down. But um, as far as folding it up, um, I don't know how, see, mine's really loose. I, I thought maybe I have to push it up more, but it doesn't stay up. But yeah, folding it down, it goes all the way down like so. So let's do a quick 360, looking at the front around to the sides. They've done a nice job with the, the paint apps on the, on these jets. The aerial bots, they have a really good paint job and they've been, again, really faithful with trying to get the look of the toys and the um, G1 cartoon into this generation's Combiner Wars line. Like I look at, I was looking at pictures, these details are pretty similar to the blue here and the gold here. Um, as far as the sleekness of it, again, you're going to get a lot of plane with with robot on the bottom. That's not something um, they're really trying to hide. But I do wish they could try to get rid of, you know, when you're looking at the top, getting rid of these sections here that obviously are not in line with the silhouette of the plane. It's a small nitpick, I suppose, but especially for this price point, but I wish they could have done something. Especially since this is a bit of a remold, I think they could have done something, maybe um, tucking the arms underneath here somehow, or something like that. But, who knows. <coughs> so, pretty nice, nifty um, alt mode. You can make use of these weapons in these ports, so there's ports on either wing. And you could tab both of his guns in there. Unlike Skydive, he doesn't have um, a port on the top of the the alt mode. All right, let's get rid of those. Go into I guess I was going to arm first since he's supposed to be in leg. So for arm mode, you just fold these wings up, fold this tail piece up. Um, what did we do? Oh, so you got to fold this landing gear up. You have to unpeg this and fold it down like so. Uh, with the legs you're going to have to open them up and extend them because you're going to need to make use of that. Um, uh, you should loosen the arms so you can get the, the back part down. Um, you need to open that up so you can make use of the um, hips as the elbow joints. Just closing these up. So again there's a, a couple of tabs that you need to be aware of here. So again, make sure this is straightened out like so, so that these tabs are pointing back. You also have slots here, so um, that's these tabs go into these slots, and these tabs go into those slots. If 
Come on. There we go. So yeah. Then um, what they what they say to do with the arms is kind of interesting. So you could leave it here, I guess, but then you have a weird kind of arm sticking out here, with, and it does get in the way if you turn the arm. So you need to get it cleared away. Um, what they tell you to do is bring up the shoulders so that they're like this and rotate them back. Oh, sorry. Stay on camera. So rotate them back, um, the shoulders like back, like this, so they look like this from the top. And then rotate at the elbows and bend them at the elbow. So there's small, two small tabs here. And what you're supposed to do, I think, it, the way they show it in the instructions, which is not clear, but what I assume, they have it bent back at uh, kind of like a 45 degree angle, like this. And it kind of lines up with the fist with those tabs. So what you, what I think you're supposed to deduce, even though they don't show it, is that they they kind of tab onto the. But they don't tab on all that well. And I mean it it's fine, but it it doesn't tab on tightly since they're not really long and they're not even circles. So I mean it also looks kind of weird to do it like that. Let's finish off transformation and then I'll show you maybe some alternate options. So the last thing you do is reveal the combiner port so you can push back on the head and bring the combiner port out. And then you can attach the fist. So this peg goes into the bottom of the feet. I want to open up the thumb and rotate it up since it's going to be his, oh, it's supposed to be his right hand, I guess, right hand. Pull out the fingers, rotate them down like so. Then you have an arm. Come on. There we go. You have an arm, a right arm for Superion. The arms are kind of long, but I'm going to touch on that really on the combined mode review uh, when I put Superion all together. But I, I don't like the look that this kind of has with this out here. I, I don't think it really makes sense. It doesn't seem very smooth. And it, it and if it was for these pegs, um, it's not a very good design for the pegs. I mean, since you have the option of rotating it all the way up, I think you should rotate them up and then deal with the arms by just kind of laying them as close to the cockpit as possible. Kind of like that. I think that makes more sense, I guess. Um, so yeah, I would say this is a better um, option than the official transformation. But officially, you're supposed to, again, pull these down to be in line with his body and then grab on to those pegs. And then you get some articulation at the waist and then using the the hips as the elbow joint. If you want you can rotate it this way um, and have this be on the inside of the arm but that's not um, what the official transformation is supposed to be. This is supposed to be the inside of the arm and the tail pieces are supposed to be the outside of the arm. So they're supposed to line up with the cockpit. All right, let's go ahead and get them transformed into uh, leg mode. So leg mode, you kind of go back into jet mode almost. So bring the arms back to the front and rotate them so that they're straight down. And you're gonna want to rotate those all the way down. Um, you're gonna want to collapse the legs again. So pulling back on the front and back parts of the legs. Going all the way down and in. Close up those legs with the same tabs I showed you before. Tab in the arms to the side of the body, like I showed you before. 
Um, one quick note, which I should have done before, is um, just so you don't see the face on the back, you should rotate the head before you close up the legs. So I apologize for going a little bit out of order there. <coughs> and then lastly, straightening out the hand, putting the finger so it becomes a foot. So this is, oh, sorry, and then pulling these up. I thought, I thought I'd already done that, but yeah, these are supposed to be up. The only time they're down is for uh, alt mode. So yeah, this is the foot mode. So yeah, you keep saying that these, this landing gear keeps folding down for me. This is leg mode, so if you want to go with the, um, you know, the kind of traditional layout, for Superion, where he usually makes up the right leg, you have him like this. I think he's, did I say right leg? Left leg. Now I'm confused. I think it was originally the, the left leg in the G1 toy, typically, in the show. Um, but in this iteration, he's making up a, an arm. No, oh, I did it backwards. I was supposed to end in, I was supposed to end in arm mode, uh, in leg mode. Oh, well, well, we're going to keep going anyway and go, oh, I did. I just did arm mode. I'm confusing myself. I apologize. It's late. So now we're going to go back into the robot mode, going from leg to arm to jet alt mode, and then back to robot mode. Okay, I know that was really confusing. So going back, we're going to let's go ahead and make the fist first since we can. Open that up. Make the right hand. Um, we're going to go ahead and untab the arms and pull them up. While you're here, just go ahead and fold them back like so, rotate them back, and rotate at about 45 degrees at the elbow joint, and then bend at the elbow joint. Get them to kind of tab on to those circles again, if you can do it. They just need to kind of be in the general vicinity. All right. Um, opening up the legs and extending them downward. Rotating the head of the combiner port and then rotating the head and then rotating it out. So there we have the right arm again, then rotating it back into airplane mode, alt mode, just get rid of the hands for now. I'm gonna go back to folding these legs up. <coughs> Pulling down the tail, folding these down, folding these wings down, Pull the cockpit up, up, dang it. I wish we get to rotate the combiner port in. You need to just slightly have it pulled out so you can rotate these uh, combiner ports in and I always forget to do that. So yeah, going back to the cockpit, rotating, rotating that down so it sits flat. Bring the arms back around and down. Rotate them forward, rotate the shoulders down, and then remembering to tab in these tabs to the forearms. Pulling this down to lock it in place. There we have alt mode again. And then last but not least, getting back into robot, folding this up. Opening the leg, oh, untabbing the arms. We'll just go ahead and rotate them up into position. Opening the legs. Rotating them all the way down. Closing them up. Splitting them in half. Rotating the tail piece in. Folding up these tail wings. Folding up these wings. Pulling back on the cockpit. Keeping this 
up again if it keeps falling down on yours as well. Tap that in. Rotate the head forward and there we have Firefly slash Fireflight back in robot mode. So what are my final thoughts on Firefly slash Fireflight? I actually like this mold um, better than the skydive one. Um, I also just, I think it's just the kind of the small things like this tail fin here. Um, I like the colors, the red and white um, look really nice and a bit different than, you know, your standard fear white or black or gray jet. So I, I really like that. Um, I also like the transformation a bit better too, even though there's a lot of similarities with the legs. Um, I, I, I like how the arms transform a bit more, even though they do kind of have that weird transformation in arm mode. Uh, you have options there. Uh, the things I don't like, this thing here is really annoying. Also the way that the legs peg together, I, I struggle a bit more with this alternating slit peg uh, configuration that they have here. It's a little bit more annoying than the skydive one. But I also wanted a cartoon accurate head. This one's still really fine though, so it's going to satisfy a lot of toy collectors uh, who are really into the toys, do you want toys? So I can't win them all. But overall, I, I think this is a really good mold. I'm looking forward to the remold for Slingshot. I think that'll be a really good addition as well. All right. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up to date with all my reviews and news, go ahead and click the subscribe button up here. And as always, if you guys want to pick one of these up for yourself, go ahead and click on the Toy Dojo link in the description below. And you can pick one up there as well as the other combiners. Alright? That's all for today, everyone. Have a good one.